When he says, Daddy, is your eyesight getting better? And I say, yeah, I'm doing everything I can, wee man. And what keeps me going, keeps us strong, is knowing that one day I'll be able to see him again. Jay is a visually impaired runner. He is currently training for the 2020 Olympics. My condition is called choroideremia. One in 50,000 people have it. Jay is within months of losing his sight. However, he is looking at alternative treatment to restore it. When eyesight went in 2014, it was, it was so hard because there was, there was no support. I had to learn how to do everything from scratch. Running for me today is a totally different experience being visually impaired because I have to rely on the running guides. They give me the instructions to go left, right, up and down. But what really keeps me going when I'm feeling it and I'm pushing is my little boy not giving up and being an inspiration for him. Before the eyesight went bad, I just enjoyed running along the canal and, and just listening to all the, the, the birds and seeing the ducks. I remember taking him his first run. He was six months old. I'm running, pushing him in his pram. Then the year after it, when he was one, and actually being able to watch him with his little matching kilt running across that wee finish line, it was just, it was amazing. And, and I hold that for, you know, in my head always. And that's what keeps me going on that, you know, I'll be able, I'll be able to do that. I'll be able to see him again. When it's bright outside, I stand him in front of me. I, I, I kneel down and I look right at him. I can just see the outline of his face. He's got light coloured hair. That little bit of something is better than having nothing at all. And that's what drives me each and every day when I wake up. I remember watching one of the big games and seeing one of the visual impaired runners running with a, a terror, which is basically a, a piece of string. And I thought, I can try that. I'm not going to give up the running. I'm training up for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, 5,000 metres. I'm going to be training around the clock as much as I can. The goal with that is getting there, raising awareness. I want to be the visually impaired guy that goes out there and gives it my all. Maybe somebody will see me, hear my story, and help me get the eyesight restored. The, the reason I run in the kilt is to make a difference. You know, I, I want to stand out a, in a good way and show people that, you know, you, you, can, you can always go out there and, and show people who you are. You know, be, be brass, be bold. No matter what happens to you in life, no matter what hits you in life, you just keep on going. Be positive and keep focused. Yeah, if you ask for a help and keep on asking, you will get it. I'm still trying to get myself a consistent running guide to be able to train on the track. And I've not gave up. I'm going to go and give it my best go. You know, if you want to get somewhere in life, you've got to really push because nothing in life comes free. It doesn't just come and land on your lap. You get out of life what you put into it. Even when all the odds are stacked against you, just keep positive and keep on pushing.